Hi guys, good morning. Today we are going to discuss about the find the nth highest survey from table. For example, if you take any table, right? For example, let's take a uh, employee table. In that employee table, we are going to have a we are going to have these details. Let's go here: employee ID, first name, last name, job ID, salary, department ID. Okay, I wanted to get the I, the question is we wanted to get the highest salary, nth highest salary. Okay, suppose if I wanted to get the first highest salary, I can go ahead and I can use the aggregate function. I can go ahead, I can use the aggregate function stating that, okay, stating that, just we'll go ahead and we'll bury the table. Select max salary. Okay, select max salary. Okay, I can get the max salary, but I wanted to get along with the details. I wanted to get along with the details, who's getting maximum salary, who's getting maximum salary. Okay, how we can get that? We can use the rank function, dense rank function. Dense rank is a analytical function. Okay, using that, we can get the max nth highest salary. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, select. Okay, first we'll go ahead and we'll write the things. Okay, let's go ahead and query again. Select, start from. Start from test EMP2, EMP underscore 2. Okay. Here, if you can see that, if you can see here, okay, we have a details. We have almost 100 employees are there who belongs to different, different departments, different, different job IDs. Now, what we wanted to do it here, we wanted to get the highest salary, nth highest salary. Okay, first we'll understand that, we'll understand the different functionality. Suppose I want employee ID. Okay. Suppose I want employee ID. You can click on here. Simply copy selection header. Go ahead and take that. Okay. And employee ID. And first name. Okay. Go ahead and take here. And after that, you want salary as well. Okay. Salary as well. I don't want remaining details. I'm going ahead and I'm using the dense right. I'm using the dense right function. Dense line function, how it works basically. Dense line, after that, over, over class, we have to use. If it is over class, order by B, order by class is mandatory. Based on what order you are going ahead and you are doing the, you are doing the first high salary, based on salary, you want highest salary. If you use the order by class, in order by class, basically, you are going to, you are using the salary column. You want highest, which means you have to use the DESC option, which means highest to lowest it is going to give. What it does, or once you have done order by, what it does, then rank, it is going to assign the rank. It is going to assign the rank for that particular column, that particular column based on, based on salary order, based on salary order. Let's go ahead and first execute this, execute this, okay? Then once we execute this, what are the things which is going to come? Let's see. If you see here, right, first is our first highest salary. If you understand this order, right, what is what it does? Order by class, it is ordering the salary in descending order, which means highest to lowest, it is ordering. Here we can see that. Here we can see that completely. Okay. Now we want highest salary, first highest salary. Okay. Now we order it based on whatever the order, right? Whatever the rank. If you can filter the rank, if you can filter the rank. Okay, we can get the salary, right? We can get the salary. Now I'm going ahead and I'm using the here where clause. Here where clause. What is the column which we have created after that function? Simply we have named as alias name as salary rank. Okay, salary rank. If I can go ahead and give one, okay. If I can go ahead and give one, it is going to throw an error. Reason is okay, alias columns, alias column name should not be used in where clause alias columns should not be used in where clause to avoid this right to avoid this we can write a simply one inline query simply one inline query what we can do here simply we'll go ahead and we'll do the select star from okay whatever the query result right in the inside query result we are calling as a simply we are calling we are writing as an inline view and we are making as a Simple one table. Simple. It's a virtual table, I take say. Okay. It's a virtual table. And we are going to we are 
querying the data survey salary rank equals to one. Let's see that. Can you see now employee employee along with salary and rank? Now you don't want to rank okay in the output. Simply what you can do, you can go ahead and you can query this. You can keep it in the selection criteria. You can keep it in the selection criteria. Okay. Now can we see that how it is executed? Now I want it second one. I want second one. Second one. I can go ahead and I can use second one. Okay. If I want fourth one, fifth one. Okay. Just I can if I change the rank automatically, it will come. It will come. Okay. So what what dense rank does, right? Suppose let me give you second highest salary, then you will understand third highest salary, you will understand, okay, what it does. If you understand this, right, okay, both are having same rank, both are having same rank, but if you can query this, right, if you can query three, okay, we are going to get two outputs, two records, if the same salary is having, then rank is going to create, then rank is going to give you same rank, then I'm going to give you same rank for the same, same values identical values okay after that it is not going to skip the rank like rank it is not going to skip the rank it is going to give you the next sequence rank we can see here we can see here are you clear so simply what you what you have to do the syntax goes like this okay select start from okay and then select dense rank okay dense rank okay and over okay over 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 column one order by order by is mandatory order by column okay if you leave like this automatically it is going to take ascending order we are keeping alias column name alias column name alias name okay and from table name from table name and whatever the output which we are writing as a just nothing but we are writing inline view and where Sal rank equals to or column simply we can say rank column rank equals to equals to one okay or two like that you have to do it like that you have to do in selection criteria how many columns you wanted to keep it's your wish okay based on comma separated based on comma separated based on comma separated are you clear guys if you are clear, then we'll go with the we'll go with we'll close this. So simply what we are querying, simply we are querying the employee first name salary from which table from whatever the inner query is executed, right? We are we are creating inner query as a inner query as a simply we are creating what we are creating, we are creating a view, nothing but inline view, we are creating inline view. We are creating and we are getting the ranks. This is the way you can write it up the nth highest salary and highest salary. Whenever you want it to change here, right? You can change it here. Position. Position. Okay. What if, if that particular rank is not present? What if, if that particular rank is present? Not present. We have one or eight records, but if I can give 120, 120, automatically it will leave the zero records. It will leave the zero records. That's it for the day, guys. We have covered the nth highest salary, nth highest salary using dense rank, using dense rank. That's it for the day, guys. Thank you.